Our first feature tonight is Nellie Wong. Nellie is the author of four poetry books, Dreams in Harrison Railroad Park, The Death of Long Steam Lady, Stolen Moments, and Breakfast, Lunch, Dinner. Her poems and essays have appeared in many anthologies and journals, and some have been translated into Chinese, Spanish, Italian, and French. Nellie has been co-featured in the documentary film Mitsuye and Nellie Asian American Poets. She has two poems installed at public sites in San Francisco. Her honors include a building named after her at Oakland High School and the Reginald Lockett Lifetime Achievement Award from Penn, Oakland in 2022. Performing with the Lo last Hoisan Poets and Del Sol String Quartet, she's cooking up a new collection of poetry to see light in the year of the dragon. Learn more at nellywong.ddns.net. Please welcome Nellie Wong. Thank you, Sandy. I'm glad to be here. And this is a bright, sunny evening here in San Francisco. I was born and raised in Oakland, just across the bay. So I will share with you a bunch of poems. All right. <clears throat> I'm glad to be reading with Vincent too. So look forward to hearing you, Vincent. Year of the Dog. Lu Hlong Nui, Filipino girl, the man behind the counter of salmon, sekban, and shrimp eyes me, my brown skin, before I hide behind my forced smile, before I run out into sunlit Stockton Street, wanting to steal an orange, even a pomelo, too big to stuff into my jacket pocket. Inside the store, old women jostle me, bellowing at the butcher. Ayya, koi mana, so slow. Liang bong ji ge, flam bong gai ge. Thinking I don't understand. Pig's feet, two pounds. Chicken wings, three pounds. I stand taller than I am, hold my sack of gai lan, dry bean curd, Hong si doi, wun hun pei, and spring onions, chives, thinking it might be too heavy to swing at bullies, intended or not. Open my eyes wider, I bark, hong in, a ba, all a slim nay, hong in, hong in nui, Chinese, uncle, just let you, Chinese, Chinese girl. My brown skin glowing, festive. The butcher's mouth now agape, his eyes smiling at this brown girl in this, the year of the dog. Most of my uh, working life, I've worked in an office um, at a high school in Oakland and uh, both private and public venues and um, this happened uh, at a um, at the work site at Bethlehem Steel. I was an exec executive secretary for many years. Conversation between two women, but only one speaks. I cannot stand it. I cannot stand women who are self-centered, who think of nothing but their families, their children, their grandchildren. I cannot stand it. Women who only think of their appearance, their shadow smudged eyes, their trinkets, silver and gold charms, who travel on ships, who flirt with dark men, who eat beef bourguignon. My doctor tells me I do not think enough of myself. He says, take ballet. Me, a clumsy woman, 55. I cannot stand the hours from eight to five, running down the hall for messages, running off copies, typing, filing until six, until seven, and go home. I've taken classes. I can't find a hobby I, I really like. Hobby, some hobby. I have new teeth, see? 
I tutor young children. They need to speak English. They are so charming, so charming. Can't really describe their charms. I volunteer time to sell things in the hospital gift shop. I create casseroles out of noodles, mushroom soup, leftover vegetable. You should see what I concoct. My eight to five hours, I can't stand. At night, I am busy, occupied. I sew, play piano. You go home, talk to your husband. Did you know I play piano? And what about my new teeth? And did I ever tell you that someone once said, I look like Joan Crawford? No luck in this equation. And this was written from a painting called Strange Fruit Comfort Women, 2001 by Hong Lu. No luck in this equation. Seven women, strange fruit, stare at you. Their eyes are washed with tears dripping, cast downward onto yellow straw hats. Their fingers at rest, but for me, but for one, stern without malice, pulls you into paint. A butterfly with purple and white wings of unheard voices, as comfort women, unsurreal, their lives forsaken in droughts, the moisture of art in world war against women who had no say for their humanity or luck in the numbers 777 for fortune, wealth, prosperity. My sisters who had no say, who rise and speak, our black hair, our fingers alive, their bodies in white dresses, our bodies still to be our own. Women of the world. For the Remember Rosa Jimenez National Mobilization for Reproductive Justice Rally and Speak Out, San Francisco, California, October 3, 2021. And this was after Roe v. Wade was eliminated. Women who plant rice, women who sew pants, women who weave rugs, women who compose songs, women who launder, who wash and wash, women who clean rooms, who dig ditches, women who agitate for a living wage, women who give their bodies, women who invent, women who dance, women who work, and all women work. Women who sacrifice sleep, women who well, who paint, who doctor, women who see with their ears, hear with their eyes, women who resist their brains and bodies in united fronts, women who build coalitions, women who organize, strategize, materialize, women who teach, who learn, women who are migrants, refugees, escaping violence against their bodies, their children's lives, women who fight against sexual slavery, women who abort, women who choose, women who act for clean water, clear skies, for education for all, women who lead to end wars that promulgate profits, destruction, women who cross borders, women, she, they, we, women of the world unite. We are waves, rivers, mountains. We who cover the earth, fighting to be free. At my old age, I, I don't know what it is, but something's going on with me when um, I'm really loving uh, to watch um, martial arts movies and so this is when I was, when I grow up, I want to be a martial artist for young Wong. Joust with Jackie Chan and Bruce Lee. 
display my prowess of Wing Chun, elbows flying, quack, quack, pop, quack, pop. Michelle Yo, am I doing this right? Want to dance with Ji Yi Zhang and whirl a cyclone of stars. Oh, oh, young Wong's watching, smiling at this octogenarian, her white hair flying the Jingwei bird, filling the sea with twigs and stones, joining Sun Wukong, the monkey king, and Pigsy, especially Pigsy in search of scriptures, and Stephen Chow, Chow Yan Fa and Donnie Yen, who are you among the Sifu, deliberating Tai Chi and Qi Gong and rapid kicks? Oh, that Gordon Liu and I bow to Ingui of Shaolin Temple Arts of martial dexterity, ancient rites of power of self defense. Eat Man and Chen Pei Pei, knows of purveyors of sorcery, but muscles with veins, breath, tens of thousand cranes flying across sunlit skies. Yin Wuping to the rescue, directing, choreographing the wires of warriors, balancing across treetops. Female chefs of the Song Dynasty gathering herbs, chopping and dicing while crouching tigers breathe and watch while warriors of Li Shang Wu, outlaws of the marsh, Hu San Lang wielding two swords on horseback, this Miss Hu, Amazon of the ancient worlds, Ju Jin in male dress, martyr for revolution against patriarchy, for feminist power, the bamboo flutes and sweet osmanthus, Alive, still tether to earth and sea, my arms take wing. When I am breathing, I wanted to write you a letter, but my love, I don't know why it is, but you can't read, and I, oh, the hopelessness. I can't write. This is by Antonio Jacinto, letter from a contract worker when my brothers come marching home, poems from Central and Southern Africa. When I am breathing, I am writing. I braid my daughter's hair. I lift my breast to my son's mouth. When I am breathing, I am writing. My sister and I heard sheep on this vast land, the sky bluer than ink I am able to buy. My fingers pick each bean from the pot of water. I hoist two buckets of water over my shoulders, and though they ache, I contemplate tomorrow, not knowing if it will arrive. The song in my heart is a brook. Washing my body, I start the fire, glaring at my daughter, my son, crooning that their father will soon return. The rooster hops onto the bed. The orange cat nizzles next to my youngest, her eyes following the rattle I shake. I oil my son's scalp and the writing flows from my fingertips. Listening to Bird Monday Night. Bird plays his alto sax. If I should lose you, I am transported to Birdland, my second home. The roar of the bus interferes, but I stay true. And writing this helps me to stay on cue as the drummer beats out my desire. I roam, blurred. Bird plays his alto sax. 
if I should lose you. My fingers dance, I want to sing the blues, remembering the 40s, the clouds, the foam, the roar of the bus interferes, but I stay true. Chinese kids could jitterbug, swing, be cool. In our bobby socks and loafers, we danced a poem. Bird places alto sax, if I should lose you. Harbor lights a theme, another bloody bones too. Collecting meat bones and hiding them at home. The roar of the bus interferes, but I stay true. We could always smoke, pretend, sneak home. The evening would end, a bit of joy for some. Bird plays his alto sax, if I should lose you. The roar of the bus interferes, but I stay true. 14 line poem on the world. Hong Kong activists protest extradition policy. Democracy at its turbulent heart with rifles, Chinese soldiers crouch ready to shoot, sweltering in heat and wind, migrants jump into the sea. They escape the open armed ship as Italy defends its borders. Immigration by numbers, chessmen wheel swords as samurai. Evacuate, leave, if not drown, back to unwelcome shores. Taliban dynamited Buddha figurines claiming they are anti-Islam. Kabul museum workers with gloved hands Piece together shards, label, ears, hands, foreheads, eyes. The world leads, heads nowhere and everywhere. The world belongs to everybody. Where else can we go? Where else can we go? Thank you.